about to witness greatness. The best invisibility setup you've ever seen. Thanks to me, Ophi, your boy. Even with the nerves, we're getting through it meterless. See, the reason this setup is so good is because they made regular invisibility take longer to go fully visible. But it still gives you plenty of time to, you know, mess around and do mix-ups. I'll show it more later. Mainly, uh, the combo I like to do, though, is the 4-3-2. And that leads to slide. So, like, slide that leads to, like, 4-dash. Uh, I'll typically like to do, like, a 4-dash and block. Or, like, a 4-dash into the low. Or even the safe overhead. A safe fish, you know, negative 7 on that one. The, the other overhead doesn't really reach as good after the 4 dash, so that's why like, I would just stick with 4 um, dash block in case they're like waking up uh, a lot, but 4 dash and then go for pressure like the pack 3 or the uh, slightly held pack 2. It's not really waking up and they're just kind of standing up and do a long range normal. It's good to do the force ball. That might be a good option too after this setup. If I was going to go for like meterless damage on this setup, it would be something like this. Um, you can just dash up afterwards and kind of see what's going to happen and make the reads, go for the mix ups. But that was. Uh, I like to call that the slam ender. Reptile kind of has either the slide ender or the slam ender. And if there's combos that he has enough uh, gravity that he can handle the slam ender, that's kind of better because it, it hurts a little bit more. Uh, but you can also get out of it early and then go for mix ups like this. <laughs> Although I wasn't completely invisible on that charged back two, uh, it's still kind of a mix up because you can cancel that into the back four four. So it becomes a low, punishable of course, but still tricky. On the slam combo ender, you end much further away. And kind of just to show how much time you have, I'm just gonna stand here for a sec. It's quite a bit. One option too is you can kind of just do the 4-3-2 and then just leave it at that with all that hit advantage and just be right there, kind of at a closer spot to go for something too. Basically you want to do death roll, 4 dash into the mix. So like the overhead or 4 dash into the low or basically just 4 dash and block in case they wake up. also do the four dash into the charge overhead it's gonna take a little bit more time but let's see what it looks like right here boom charged yeah it's pretty good I mean you're probably gonna get hit by something but it might be worth trying <laughs> <laughs> 